Hey, how's it going? Swatch with me. Pentel Art Sign Pen Brush Markers 24. Now, when I bought these, I think they were two separate purchases. So, I I can't tell you which one came first. <laughs> Reminds me. <laughs> which one? Which came first? Okay. Uh, this has... It shows flexible tip on here. And this one shows F, which I think stands for flexible tip. And there's no no color chart. And what I did, without even really thinking about it, was this is what they look like. Uh, there are 12 in each set. And I set them up in the way that I... In the order that I like to use my colors so you know going from pink to black and I tried my best I looked at for example here was it shows it looked like it was black uh, black print but it's silver so what I did was I looked at it you know I looked at the code there and everything and then on the back here there's it says Pentel uh, sign pen made in Japan and this one shows B2 like itty bitty teeny weeny B2 I don't know if that stands for a brush but there's another one that I saw <coughs> that uh, shows a Z so let's see if I can find okay this one Pentel sign pen made in Japan and this is Z and an itty bitty t is that zero seven I, I this might be zero seven like super tiny right there but it says Z up there instead of B so I mix the Z's and the B's is what I did <laughs> what what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description or two links rather in the description and you can go check out the color scheme uh, for yourself if you want to. But one shows a cacti here or cactuses. Either way is fine. And the other shows a girl walking walking down a sidewalk in Japan, I'm, I'm assuming. So, you yeah. know. And I don't know if there are any more color, color sets available. I might go to Pentel's website, see if they have something available. So the, the unique feature about these uh, right here that the pens are in is that they stand up. So when you need them, they should always, when you store them, they should lie horizontally. But when you need them, when you're using them, you can bring them out, put them on your desk, and grab the ones you want. So that is really cool. They're also uh, somewhat loose, so I can easily grab them. Although I can push them down further so that they stay in place, like when I'm putting them away, for example. That was a little... Okay, <laughs> I was just making sure that they're they're loose enough for me to grab. These are also blendable with water. Water soluble ink. Marker stand included. So this one has less writing on the front there than this one does. Blendable with water. Water soluble ink. Wear resistant, pressure sensitive, flexible tip. Ideal for hand lettering and calligraphy. Marker stand included. That's way down here. And, and all caps here. Vibrant water-based dye ink. Wow. And this is what the back of the packaging looks like. In case you want to see it. Limited warranty. Valid in USA only. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... But other than that, there's no way for me to tell. I was maybe looking for the Z and the B and I on here, but I don't see it. They do have different numbers there and there. And um, two sets of numbers, numbers and letters, so that's different. And these two on the side, on the other side, are also different. <sighs> So I was like, oh, so I'm just going to have to say I'm sorry that I mixed them up. 
but I put them in the order that I like since I have both of them. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to start, hopefully, <laughs> with this. There are no color names on these. That's a bummer, but... Uh, and since they're water-soluble, I think I might take my baby wipe and just kind of um, see if I can... It says they're pressure-sensitive. See if I can bring them out a little bit with a baby wipe. What is that? That looks like salmon, Tammy Shane. That should be in the orange. Let's see. Ball it up. Let's see if we can get any kind of effect. Okay, we can. We can get a little bit of an effect there. I wonder if I can turn it upside down. No. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm 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 so ditzy sometimes that I forget which one I've done. So I'm just gonna leave it out of the packaging, out of the stand for a bit. I'll do it like this, kind of a feathery look, I guess. And do that. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. I couldn't decide if this was red or dark pink, and I, I tested it on. It looks kind of like a, almost like a mauve color. I tested it on the packaging here, right there, and then right above it, I put the red one in. Originally, this was after the red because I thought it was a dark red but I'm you know okay this is like pink <laughs> never mind this is darker than this that's weird is anything weird nothing's weird <clears throat> I might have to resituate here I plan to use these in uh, coloring books, possibly. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just don't know. My hands, <laughs> they are a weapon sometimes. Only weapons against myself, though. So I just, I just finished the watercolor and sea salt with these, and I wasn't as great an effect as I as I wanted it to be or that that I thought it was going to be orange oh yeah look we'll, we'll have a very pretty uh baby wipe when we're done yellow oh, I hope you can see this oh and it's very bright put a lot on to see because <laughs> once I take the baby wipe to it it might erase it entirely I'll try not to get the very edge there. Mm. A bit on the light side there. Whew, very light. Okay. Maybe come out a little more. Was like a watercolor effect. Now, of course, they're going to leave a line there. I just threw it. 
Just drill myself. No problem. Whoa. So the darker colors are going to be uh, more prevalent on the page. Now this color, when I did the watercolor and sea salt, if you haven't seen that yet, you should go into my watercolor and sea salt playlist because it'll be in there. Uh, I didn't really, I wasn't too crazy about after I added the water and then once it dried, it had this uh, brown, took on a brownish effect to it and I was not happy at all with how that turned out. Now that's pretty good, but is it going to, when it dries, is it going to have a brownish tint to it? I have no idea. <laughs> carefully, carefully inch the paper forward. And this color... Oh, maybe it was this color. Was it this color? You know, I think it was this color. It, it was not that one. Wow. I'm, wow. I think it was this color because I thought, oh, let's use this color because it's like a dark teal. This is the color that took on that brown. Why did I... Oh, maybe I thought it was the other... This other green. Was it this green? Man, I am drawing a blank. I just did it. <laughs> I guess I'll find out when I... When these dry. This right here is very much like that Ionian green from the... Derwent, Derwent, paint pan set to. Very light color. Hey, yeah, I'm happy to report that I did find my coloring books. I had to clean up my area over here because things were starting to come towards me and this is where I do all my grading and stuff as well. Very, very light. Also very light. A different, a different shade of light. This is light blue and that's like a light teal I guess. I should have switched those two. Well, that's okay. Okay, now well, those are done. Okay. We have this blue. Pretty blue. Definitely not the barrel. So if you're thinking, a lot of people complain about that. You know, this is nothing like the barrel. I actually like this color. But I like this color too. You need a better color scheme on your barrels. Customers give bad ratings to colors that don't match the barrel. <laughs> I just keep saying, the barrels never judge a color by its barrel, or cap color, or anything like that. I saw you. You see a bug, he said, excuse me, coming through. I doubt he said excuse me, though. With any luck, he's going toward the light over there to the left that I have turned on for him. Him or her. I don't really know the gender of the bug. Okay. This is a dark blue. What would this be? Oh, is this Prussian blue? 
It looks kind of like Prussian blue. Kinda. That would be cool if it was. Prussian blue is a pretty color. Or is it just your basic dark blue? Is that pilling? No pilling. It's watercolor paper for Pete's sake. I'm running out of room here on my... How can I be running out of room? All this real estate on my... Baby wipe. Not as water soluble <laughs> as I'd like them to be. And I think that's why I didn't get a, such a great effect on the watercolor and sea salt. I hope that's not loud for you. If it is and I'm in editing, I'll turn that annoying sound down for you. Dark purple. The tip uh, says it's flexible, but it's not really as flexible as I'd like it to be. Now, that's a solid color. Solid coloring job there. It's getting away from me. Kind of has a magenta flavor to it, so to speak, or shade to it when I pull it out with the baby wipe there. Cool. What is this, yellow ochre? Or tan, maybe? Oh yeah, I'm thinking maybe tan. It doesn't have as much of the yellow in there. Very hard to pull out with a, a damp baby wipe. Interesting. Is it going to dry on me? It's still damp, so I should be able to pull something out of it. This is yellow ochre. Can't get a grip there. Way too much. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little bit too much coloring there. Maybe I can brush it out a little. Never mind. I pulled it out just a little bit. Now, generally, these are used for like uh, if you have a guest book and you allow them to sign with different colored pens, these would be good for that. What is this, like silver? Light gray, cool gray, warm gray, what, what color gray? Cool gray, right?
Oh, that was hard to take out. Last color. I was thinking this was black. Silly me for going after that barrel color. This isn't as black as I'd like it to be. Come on, Pentel. You can do better than this. Is that black? It looks just like a big old dark gray. Isn't that really what black is? It's dark gray. <laughs> Charcoal gray. Looking for an empty spot. Oh, yeah. That was great. Well, that was great, but see, it only goes so far after that. And you get a little bit there. Huh. I wonder if these are permanent when they dry, because it doesn't say anything about that. Mm -mm -mm. says great for a variety of techniques including feathering cross hatching calligraphy detailed line work and outlining tip will not dry out if left uncapped brush tip wipes clean with a paper towel brush tip huh that's interesting so here are the beautiful colors and I just thought, oh Tammy, you forgot to trim down your paper and now you're going to have a fun time getting this into your binder later. <laughs> because it is not a 9 by 12 sleeve, it's more like a 8.5 by 11. Okay, which of these which of these colors do you like the best? You know, one of these days I'm going to ask you, which do you like the least? But that's more of a negative thing, and I really don't want to go down that path. Which do you like the best? <laughs> that's the color I like the best. And then second place is that color right there. I don't know what third place is. Maybe the green. Green, blue, and purple. That's what I usually work with when I do my watercolor and seesaw because they tend to show up the best. The darker the color on the paper, the better effect it's supposed to create with the salt. And that's just because water or the color pulls away from the salt, creating a, a lighter color underneath. So if I use lighter colors, I won't be able to see anything. <laughs> Okay, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have an artistic day. Bye.